So moving uh, straight on, I'm going to welcome Ali to the virtual floor and let him take it away. So Ali, if you want to turn on your camera and mute yourself, uh, the virtual floor is yours, my friend. Thank you very much. The topic I chose today is the future of marketing industry in the metaverse. So, um, because there are hundreds of thousands of people who are working inside the marketing industry. And I'm talking about from design, from media, from paid social, from PR, I'm talking about all of them. So imagine all the consultants, all the agencies, all the specialists, all the employees, all the agents, anyone who's working in the metaverse, sorry, in the marketing industry, um, what would be the future when it comes to the metaverse? Because if you think about it for the last few years, a lot has changed. In, in the marketing world. I remember, I, I clearly remember having this conversation. It was in 2019 when I started my own company, uh, Business Minds, that another friend of mine created his own company specializing only in TikTok. And I was like, come on, dude, what? why? <laughs> and he was telling me that this is gonna, you know, blow the future, this is gonna be the future, everyone gonna come here. And I was like, come on, it's just a bunch of kids. What are you talking about? And I'm not saying this is, was like 25, 30 years ago. I'm just saying, really, just three, four years ago. And now his agency is doing 5X <laughs> than us. And he's been one of the leading people when it comes to TikTok. So um, just look at the past 10 years, the past decade, and how much it has changed in social media, in companies who are so stubborn and so many traditional businesses and old school people, business owners, you know, the very wealthy business owners who didn't even want to have a website. And they were like, yeah, we're well known already, but guess what? <laughs> Not anymore. Um, and you really need to have a presence. And the way I see Metaverse is last year, I've tried so much to convince people that, come on, Metaverse is the future. And now I'm like, no, if you want to see it, see it. If you don't want to see it, that's not a problem at all. Because I know there are enough audience and enough users for it to um, go into the future. So the topics we are going to cover um, about the marketing will be engagement, experience design, audience, and monetization. So um, the very first thing I want to talk about is the engagement. So engagement in the metaverse is on a whole next level. So on the left, you can see here, it's our website that we're kind of doing our UI UX in the metaverse. And as you can see, there are... Um, another aspect of it. If you just see as a design perspective, there's not just X and Y axes, there's also Z axes. That is like the depth um, of any image or any space that you get into. Imagine whatever right now you see as 2D becomes 3D. And the way we present metaverse, or the way at least I think is that metaverse will not replace social media or metaverse is not gonna be the future of Facebook, no. I think metaverse will be the future of internet. So whatever you do on internet, whether it's shopping, whether it's your work, whether it's entertainment, whether it's education, whatever you do, it will be somehow inside the metaverse in one form or another. So one thing is right now, if you want to book um, a reservation for a restaurant, you just go on the website, you just fill in your information and done. But in a new future, restaurants would have metaverse websites just on the right picture. So you would be putting your, um, whether it's glass or whether it's um, uh, uh, eyewear or whatever device that it is, you put it there and you'll be inside the reception or you'll be inside the restaurant. And you can go and you can literally take a look at the menu or talk to um, a personal assistant. So the engagement over there will be way more and therefore much more room for marketing people and marketing experts to be creative, to think outside of the box. And that's why many people who are interested in the metaverse are actually having marketing background because they can understand that how much potential this has and how viral we can go with all 
all the implementations that you put. Another point that I really am excited about Metaverse is the experience design. So those who are interested in architecture or wayfinding or signage design or anything like that, they understand experience design is a huge part of marketing because it's like essentially real life experience, okay? And I'm sure all of you have seen some sort of this experience design in exhibitions that you try something in a booth and it was, oh my God, I never forget it, right? And the way that it's gonna work in the metaverse is that us marketing um, specialists, we will be working with many different industries and many different artists and also many other scientists to bring in the five senses that you have in this world into the virtual world and that's going to be very tricky because for now at least you can't smell anything with vr or you can't um for example um hear as 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 quality as you can see in the real life but these are all the challenges that are discussed by scientists by physicists and also on top of that you can also have very different spaces so if we're thinking about for example, right now on your phone, going from Facebook all the way to LinkedIn, you can get out of the app and you can go to the other app. But in the metaverse, there will be like teleporting. So that teleporting can be a whole new experience that metaverses or, you know, the companies can design their own teleporting and every aspect of it. It's a whole new experience design. And I think it's really exciting for marketing um, specialists to get to work with neuroscientists, with physicists, with all these new people. And I think there will be much more collaborations uh, in the future inside the um, Web3 space. Other thing I want to talk about is audience. So one of the things that I discuss with my um, colleagues, with our clients, etc., that we say, okay, let's say I come to the metaverse, but who am I targeting? vast majority of the people there are less than 20 years old <laughs> so what am I going to do with that what am I going to sell to them but one thing you need to realize is that first of all this audience has always um, not stayed in one particular niche it's like there is a marketing thing as crossing the chasm and I do recommend you reading the book just crossing the chasm which explains how a new technology will become uh, available for the mass um, world. And if you want, I have a TEDx talk about it actually, which I've gone through it in details. But if I just wanna um, summarize it very briefly, I wanna tell you one thing. Most certainly people who go to Gucci land or Gucci town in, in the metaverse and they engage with it, most likely they can't afford it. However, in 10 years time, they might be able to afford it, right? Or the same with Nike or the same with Polo or with any other brand. They have built this experience for their young generation audience that they will be engaged. They will be creating this user-generated content. They will be actively involved in it. And back in the mind, they all knew this experience and they can grow with it. And in the future, when we have better hardware and better software, we will having more and more people bridging inside these um, metaverse. And there will be definitely not just on the 20s. And we can see that this market and this um, audience size is increasing. Um, also, one other thing is there are different stats and different numbers according to um, different resources. However, just I want you to look at the global metaverse market prediction, that what it was in 2020 and what would it be in 2030? And if you think about it, it's, it's 10 years is really not that much. However, the market size is dramatically increasing. So it's, it's definitely an area to consider. If I tell you um, that there is a market that can go from this to that, from 36 to 950, would you not consider it? The least is you can consider it, you can do a bit of research on it. So as, as mentioned earlier, be open-minded. And one other thing that I do wanna discuss is the monetization. This is a bit tricky because right now, many businesses who have bridged over there um, maybe used the metaverse um, appearance or web three appearance 
for the PR and for the branding and just for the marketing purposes. So they didn't really have a long term solid business plan to execute and actually build um, a sustainable business or solve a, a real problem. So one suggestion I have for monetization is when you're doing a marketing strategy, focus on building something between real world and the metaverse. So try to bridge between physical world and the virtual world as much as possible, because it's not about just utilities. The, the audience that you have and the community that you have should be able to understand the link between it and should be tangible for them enough to be able to bridge in between them. And one other thing is very important in monetization is um, community, right? And think of influence marketing right now that there are some influencers with like 5 million Instagram followers. Think of this as the future of brands that have that community. And the only way for you to have a community is to have a very solid um, common mutual factor between those people that they are convinced or they are inspired enough to be engaged in that. So that is a whole nother topic, which I don't have that time to cover it, but um, I really appreciate the time and um, the opportunity. If you guys wanna reach out to me with questions, um, Ali Reza Sharason is my LinkedIn and I have my email address here for you. So I, I'm happy to talk and I hope um, I can talk, um, I can answer your questions or your um, concerns you might have. And also, if you're needing any extra help to bridge into the metaverse, we have done many different projects in different scales, which I'm happy to also discuss it later.